Hi everyone. I'm here to show you a flip through of this journal that I made for my granddaughter. I used um, Stamperia music paper pack. And some things from my shop. I'll link anything that's in, from my shop down below. Um, this is a tag I made with some coffee dyed sheet music and the Stamperia paper. And just backed it with coffee dyed paper. Put it in here with a blank piece of paper for journaling. This flashcard is from my Etsy shop. Just a piece of old tape that I made. Stamperia paper. I love this paper pack with a piece of lace sewed down the edge. And just some tag from the paper pack. A couple more flashcards, piano and harp. And some of these images I have in my Etsy shop, I scaled them down and, and printed them in black and white and then coffee dyed the paper afterwards. This is an ATC card that's in my Etsy shop. Just a piece of coffee dyed paper that I glued a strip of the Stamperia paper onto and tied a little Surrey silk ribbon to the edge of the paper clip there. And just, and some sheet music, pulled it over for journaling space and a um, card from the paper pack. And I have some um, one inch circles in my shop that are music related, music themed. And I shrunk those down, they're one inch in the shop and I shrunk them down 50%. So these are one half inch circles. Coffee dyed sheet music. Um, this is from a paper pack that's available in my Etsy shop. It's available uh, in coffee dyed, a coffee dyed version and a um, black and white version that you can print onto coffee dyed paper if your printer will allow that or parchment paper or you can print it on a um, laser printer and then coffee dye it afterwards. This is a two tuck pocket with some lace sewed down the edge. These are This is made from the Stamperia paper pack and this is also from the Stamperia paper pack, just sewed onto coffee dyed back to make a journaling card. This envelope is also included in the paper pack, the Stamperia paper pack. And I just put a piece of um, old note paper in there for journaling space. Um, a pocket I made with embossed coffee dyed cardstock and this is one of the labels that's um, in my Etsy shop part of the set and this is another card from the Stamperia paper pack coffee dyed um, glassine bag with two of the cards from the Stamperia paper pack. They're double sided. They're just so beautiful. This is a stamped flower image onto fabric with a little rusty safety pin.
in there. A piece of coffee dyed sheet music. More of the embossed cardstock. And this is the original size of the um, inch circles that are in my shop. This is a tag from the Stamperia pack, backed with coffee dyed paper. This is also part of the Stamperia paper pack. And this envelope, oh, this is an image that I, a Harrison Fisher image from my Etsy shop. And I printed it on ivory linen cardstock. And I printed it on a um, size large enough to fold into a card to make some extra journaling space. And I'll put that away when I'm done. This is a freebie from my blog. And this idea I got from Corey Dahman on YouTube. It's a uh, an envelope made from dictionary paper, sewed around the edges, and then I just cut a piece of the Stamperia paper to make a tab. And inside I have this, another beautiful card from the paper pack, and a piece of vintage note paper for journaling space. And this is a little note paper. Well, I cut this out from the Stamperia paper pack and then I just sewed a bunch of strips of coffee dyed paper inside. Make some extra room for journaling. And these um, are some of the shrunk down inch, inch, one inch. So they're half inch. And I just glued one to each side to, of these center strings. This is a floating pocket with, made from the Stamperia paper. And this is um, also from the Stamperia paper, just glued to a piece of coffee dyed paper. And on this paper clip, I attached a heart charm. Those are also cut out from the Stamperia music paper pack. Piece of coffee dyed sheet music. And my granddaughter's name is Malaya, and I came across this vintage hanky that was in my collection and I thought that was just perfect for her journal. The It's the corner of the original hanky. This is the other side of that glassine bag and I just glued a piece of the lace, the a lace trim on there and glued these sides down to make a pocket. And this is cut out from the Stamperia paper and I just made a little booklet with plain paper for more journaling space. And I cut a coffee dyed doily down and glued it there just for some extra texture. This is another idea I got from Corey Dahman on YouTube. It's, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's a pocket that has three, three inserts. Well, two inserts and then you can glue it down to on three sides to make a pocket in the back. And I just put a couple of coffee dyed vintage papers in here for more journaling space.
This is a um, little booklet thing I made out of um, coffee dyed sheet music. Just glued a piece of plain coffee dyed paper inside. For more journaling space. This is a freebie on my blog that I shrunk down and backed it with plain coffee dyed paper to make a journaling card out of it. Corner pocket and a little circle pocket that I've just included a couple of vintage tickets into. And a piece of aged, well, naturally aged, it's old sheet music, Oh Lovely Night. And that's it. Thank you for watching.